Father, I shout grace, grace to whoever that's happening to. In Jesus' name, amen. Today is one of the very few days of the fall where you can actually afford to have your window down. <laughs> I'm kind of making this video in a hurry because it just crossed my mind something that happened yesterday is here at work I was uh, given an opportunity to kind of make a presentation of the gospel to someone and I was unprepared and I stumbled and the Bible says uh, tells us not to worry for what we will say because the Holy Spirit will give us guidance and you know God is perfectly capable of working with what I said but it is always a good idea to prepare. The Bible talks all the time about preparing. About, uh, you know, when times to spread our knowledge that God has provided us with. Especially when it comes to the gospel. You don't have to know down to the letter what you're going to say. And the Holy Spirit will give you guidance depending on your situation. But it is nice to know what you know and have, you know, the knowledge offhand or at least a basic idea of what you want to say. Because a lot of the times when you're presented with opportunities like this, it can catch you off guard. It caught me off guard. Proverbs, uh, 15 verse 28 once I flip there it reads the heart of the righteous studies how to answer but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil <clears throat> see you got you see the heart of the righteous it ponders what to answer and the Holy Spirit does give guidance it's, a, it's not a contradiction. It's, it's one of the many paradoxes the Bible presents us. But there is grace for when we slip up or fail. Because uh, we're not perfect. And God knows we're not perfect. And we don't have to be because he died for us. He died for our imperfections. He died for our sins. And this includes when we may not represent him in the best way that we should strive to do so. One part of scripture that I'm going to leave off today here, if I can flip to it in time. I can't seem to find it. When I find it. Okay, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go look in the glossary. Look for it in the glossary. I was way off. Okay, so that means it should be right in here. There you are. Okay, so James chapter 3 and verse 2. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man able also to brittle the whole body. But Christ died so that we don't have to be perfect. And he rose again on the third day as proof of our justification for not only our sins, but also for, you know, when we stumble or misrepresent the gospel. Because sometimes it happens. We all slip. We're not perfect. But we serve a perfect God who through his shed blood made up for it. Amen. Anyways, guys, hope this has blessed you. God has put another video idea in my head. I'm going to get around to recording it soon. I want to do a little more searching through the word first, though. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. God bless you all.